Fox and News is committed to your family safety. The Pensacola Interstate Fair is wrapping up and then the Greater Gulf State Fairgrounds opens tomorrow in Mobile. And with those fair come hundreds of carnival workers. So we wanted to find out exactly who is working around your children and how they're vetted. Our Devin Cafaro shows us now in the studio with the details of this Fox 10 News investigation. Well, Bob and Lanise, the good news is officials with both the Greater Gulf State Fair and the Baldwin County Fair say they are performing background checks on all of their employees. But we did discover that there are no state or local laws when it comes to who these carnivals hire. So in this story, we explore the policies our local fairs have in place to keep your family safe. And we also explore how policies in other areas fell short. <laughs> Nothing quite like the fair. The rides, the food. It's something many of us wait for all year. Let's just think about family and fun. Shantaria Taylor brings her daughters to the Greater Gulf State Fair every year. And that's why she can't believe that carnivals in Alabama are not legally required to perform employee background checks. It's important to know who's there, who's working, what their background is. That means these checks are up to the discretion of the carnival companies. They can choose how many people they decide to vet and which criminal charges they'll allow. One example of that, 33-year-old Timothy Peterson from Bruton. He is accused of sexually assaulting a woman while working at the Clay County Fair near Jacksonville, Florida. According to Alabama court records, Peterson had spent time in prison for theft and drug charges beforehand. He was on probation when he was hired to operate the carnival rides, and he still passed his background check. He's accused of approaching several kids at the fair. This man, Brian McCann, was arrested while working at a fair in Washington State, charged with child luring and attempted kidnapping. He was working with the cleanup crew for the Fantastic Rhines Carnival Company when it happened. Once it's happened to you, it changes your, your business model. Ronald Burback is the president of Fantastic Rhines. He says before this incident, his company only performed background checks on a third of its workers since they weren't legally required to do more. In light of McCann's arrest, they partnered with local law enforcement to conduct more in-depth screenings. Screenings which revealed that three men who were supposed to be registered as level one sex offenders had slipped through the cracks and were already on their payroll. The local uh, police operate on a much different system than we have that lets them know that there are outstanding warrants, what the warrants are and that kind of stuff. We don't get that on a consumer level background check. Incidents like these haven't happened in our area, but similarly, our local carnivals are also in full control of their hiring process. We do not have like an official policy. You know, we take it a case by case uh, basis. Joseph Even is the office manager of Arnold Amusement Incorporated, the carnival company that travels to Robertsdale each year for the Baldwin County Fair. He says they do run background checks on every employee and there is zero tolerance for anything sexually related. But other offenses like drugs, domestic violence, or theft can be allowed. A marijuana, for example, and it could be something when somebody was younger or happened two years ago or five years ago. You know, everybody deserves a second chance, but sometimes you have to give people a third chance, done their time, paid their punishment. You know, that's something that can be looked at. Here at the Greater Gulf State Fair in Mobile, organizers have slightly different methods for their background checks. We have about 300 people um, on property living with us and uh, making up our little city. Josh Woods, the director of the fair, says his partner, North American Midway Entertainment, is responsible for the vetting process. About 115 employees are from South Africa, given temporary work visas through the Department of Labor's H-2B program, which means they are approved by the federal government. About 300 others travel with the carnival, and about 60 local workers are hired from Mobile County. We do it for 100% in every position that we have. So that's rides, games, food, and our ticket sellers too. Any employee, whether they're traveling with us for the entire season, for a month, or even for 
for one location we're doing background checks and drug screening. Scooter Corrick, a representative of North American Midway, says he believes their approach is thorough. He declined to release the company's background check policy, but he tells us they don't hire anyone with a history of any violent sexual abuse or theft. But he says certain drug offenses and DUIs can be allowed. Now we're hiring a third party supplier and we're paying the fee to that supplier to do a thorough background check for us. and so. In recent times, I can't see that we've had any problems. We've had employees, local employees, that have come to work before and maybe they've been intoxicated or had been drinking or we suspect that they are on drugs and then they're automatically dismissed. Illinois and Massachusetts are the only states in the country that require sweeping background checks at all fairs and all carnivals. Parents can rest easy knowing that our local fairs are vetting employees, but a few people we spoke with think there should be some form of government oversight. I think it's a security issue. In this day and time, you can never be too sure. Officials from both Mobile and Baldwin County say they are confident in their current policies and don't see a need for any government oversight. If there's going to be background check, I think it should be for every industry, not just the carnival industry. I think that our um, I think our screening programs are very very effective right now, and so we're going to keep on doing what we're doing. At the end of the day, background checks can't always predict what anyone will do in the future, and that's why parents like Taylor say it's important to be vigilant and keep an eye on your children at all times. They are, they never get out of my sight. I'm, I am like a hawk. I watch every move they're making. I have to know where they're at at all times. And we didn't forget about the Pensacola Interstate Fair. That carnival company is right Hoffer shows. They actually sent us a copy of their background check policy. They were the only carnival company to do so. And we'll put it up for you to read on our website, fox10tv.com.